Yo, 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 what's up? This your boy XV coming through with another episode of the X Vision Files. And then this one right here, man, it's gonna be like a it's not gonna it's gonna be like a quick video. You know, it's mostly a motivational video. Shouts out to um I N R I Motivation. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I N R I Motivation. If, if I got it wrong, you know, I apologize and but the link gonna be in the description. You know, but this is a very good motivational, you know, um, speech, basically, that I want to, you know, um, react to. So without further ado. The person you spend your time with will have an impact on the kind of life you live. There are people that God has already ordained to come across your path and to help you fulfill your destiny. People with good morals that will inspire you challenge and make you better the right people are already lined up but here is the key if you're spending time with the wrong people you will never meet the right ones absolutely he is absolutely correct when you got people in your life man that's like that's like they they basically call blessing blockers you know they they're blessing blockers you know they blocking your blessings you, you understand so um we have to be careful who we hang around. We have to be careful who we have, who we let have access to us, you know, because there's, because like I said, everything is spiritual. Like nothing is physical. Like we, it's physical because we physically see it and we can touch it, but everything is spiritual, man. Like there, there, there's an energy behind, uh, behind every person. There's a, there's an energy, you know what I'm saying? A spirit, you know, and, 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 and like they saying on this, um, yeah, you know, we got to be careful, you know, who we let in our lives and stuff, you know. We have to be very, very, you know, aware of that. If you're hanging around people that are not going anywhere, people with bad morals, people who are self-centered, arrogant, unteachable, acting too important, and always craving attention, you're going to get stuck. You can't hang out with chickens and expect to soar as eagles do. You're going to become like the people you continually associate with. Never underestimate the influence of the people you allow into your life. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, Do not be deceived and misled. Evil companionships corrupt good manners, morals, and character. Notice the principle. Whatever qualities your friends have, either good or bad, will eventually rub off on you. Spirits are transferable. Absolutely, absolutely. Birds of a feather flock together. Energy is transferable. Energy never, energy never dies. It just transfers. That's all it does. You know, like, 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 with like a plant, for example. When you, when you, when you grow a plant or whatever, and then you kill that plant, or the plant dies or whatever, that energy, that that little source of energy goes somewhere else. It don't die. Yeah, the physical the physical flower died, but the energy of that flower is it has transferred somewhere else, you know? So yeah, that is very important, man. Energy does just transfer. That's why I don't be around negative people. People that's negative and got a negative um notion about things and you know got got you know just 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 negative like I, I cannot like my spirit don't sit right with people like that. I just I just remove myself from people like that. Hang out with a gossip, before long you'll be a gossip. You hang out around people who compromise, run around on their spouse, and before long, you'll be compromised. The same goes for associating with prideful people. If you get close to them, you'll discover they're always self-worshipping and self-preservative, all of which are bad attributes. Humility is one very important virtue a Christian must have. You have to set some boundaries. You hear somebody that's always negative, critically finding fault in others, always wanting to be the center of attention, which is a red flag. They're not for you. Ever heard this? Yeah, maybe I've got a little pride. But if you want to get along with me, you'll just have to put up with it. It's just the way I am. You. How many people, oh my gosh, how many people like that? How, a lot of people like that, man. Especially women. Women be doing that shit. Oh, you gotta take me as I am. Oh, well, well, I'm, well, I'm, well, you met me like this. Well, you did. Like, come on, bro. Like, you acting like you don't have, uh, you, you acting like you don't have the ability to evolve. 
That's that. That's what I get from people who say that. Oh, this is who I am. Fuck that. I don't give a fucking. And I, this is just me, bro. So you mean to tell me that? So let me get this straight. So you mean to tell me that you don't evolve? That what you're saying. That basically what you're saying. That I don't evolve. Take me as I am. No, nobody's not dealing with no shit like that. Everybody has the ability to evolve. Now, do you want to evolve or not? Is the question. You feel me? But yeah, he absolutely right. There's a lot. You just got to, you just have to deal with it. You know? No, I have to deal with nothing. The only thing I have to deal with is the Heavenly Father in Christ. Them the only, that's the only thing I have to deal with. Other than that, I don't have to deal with nothing else, man. Like, you tripping. Just have to deal with it. For anyone to know they have even a little bit of pride and not care about it is to raise a fist in God's face and say, Hey, God, I don't care that I'm regularly walking and living in this sin of pride, and I'm okay with not having all that great of a relationship with you either. The Bible says God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. You hear that? He resists the proud and give hum and, and give to the what he said and give what to the humble? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> you know we unscripted over here. We unscripted over a chair. Hold on, what he said? Damn, did I pass it? Raise a fist in God's face and say, Hey God, I don't care that I'm regularly walking and living in this sin of pride, and I'm okay with not having all that great of a relationship with you either. The Bible says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Gives grace to, there you go right there. God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Exactly. Exactly. So you got to humble yourself, man. All that pro being prideful and and all that, and, oh, I don't need nobody, and got your head up high like like you like you above everybody, and you don't need you ain't gonna never need help from nobody, and and you not helping nobody, and like, bruh, God resists people like that. He resists you. He resists. See, like people, see, see, let me see. Look, check this out, man. People be thinking that God. People really don't know our God. Y'all don't know our heavenly Father, man. Our heavenly Father will laugh at you. He will laugh at your calamity. <laughs> he will laugh at you. When you out here being prideful and, and this and that, and then, and then when shit hit the fan for you, which it which 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 is, is gonna inevitably be happen, and you wanna pray to God, oh God, please help me. Oh, oh, oh I'm going through this, please God help me. God gonna laugh at you. He's gonna sit there and laugh at you. He's not gonna, oh well, I'm gonna help you now. No, he's not gonna do that. He don't play that, he don't play them type of games. So I like y'all need to chill out with this being prideful, man. Y'all need to humble yourself. That's key. Be humble, man, because that's that's when God show you grace, you know. But let's continue. Pride isn't in God's nature, and anything that goes against the nature of God is a sin. God hates sin. Pride is a sin, and it is weighty. The spirit of pride is inborn and detestable to God. And as such, when we become Christians, we must identify and remove every seed of pride in us and conduct ourselves like Christ. When it comes to diagnosing the heart, those who are afflicted with the spirit of pride have a challenging time identifying their sickness. Pride infects their eyesight, causing them to view themselves through a lens that distorts reality. And even when you point out to them that they're proud and tell you that you don't have any self-worth, pride paints their ugly sins as beautiful and commendable. The people you choose to surround yourself with matter because they influence your character. When you choose to surround yourself with the wrong company people who are without good manners and not beneficial to your destiny they can corrupt your character character is what makes you unique which is shown in the way you act feel and think exactly exactly and um like i said there's more to this video um the link going to be in this in the description um i n r i motivation you know, he got some nice motivational videos, you know, I, I, you know, I'm subscribed to that channel. So I think you should, I think you should um, subscribe too. you know, you know, you have a lot of good motivational videos. But anyway, man, you know, yeah, man. And in a nutshell, man, be careful who you surround yourself with, man. You know, it's I'm telling you, this is a spiritual war going on out here. 
And you have to be very, very, it's very, very important in who you keep company nowadays, like for real. But um, anyway, I'm over my time, you know, more content coming through. This your boy XV came through with another episode of the X Vision Files and made the most high bless y'all. Got on the yellow band, about to get mama a stroke. Don't need a hammer lamb, baby mama.